Judge Thomas, you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Please be seated. When I was six, I wandered the streets by myself. You were hungry and didn't know when you'd eat. Someplace in my life, the road split off. I had gone to the seminary. I had gone to all white schools. I was never going to be a part of that world. I was never going to be white. The problem is I can never go back completely to the world I came from. We're supposed to be revolutionaries. We were for anybody who's kind of in your face. I saw what I had become, lashing out at every single thing. And then I asked God that if you take anger out of my heart, I'll never hate again. And that was the beginning of the slow return to where I started. I want my candidacy to unify our country. I was under a constant attack. You're not really black because you're not doing what we expect black people to do. And I will nominate Judge Clarence Thomas to serve as Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. That's when all heck broke loose. Judge Thomas began to use work situations to discuss sex. We know exactly what's going on here. This is the wrong black guy. He has to be destroyed. You really didn't matter. What mattered was what they wanted. So you'd still like to serve on the Supreme Court? I'd rather die than withdraw from the process. I wanted to be able to say I lived up to my oath and did my best. 